Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Nimzing Ladep. Uh, I'm a gastroenterologist uh, working in the National Health Service. Uh, previously, I've obtained my medical degree uh, in the University of Jos, Nigeria, and had uh, obtained an additional qualification uh, in hepatology with special interest in uh, liver cancer. Uh, essentially, this video is aimed at educating people regarding hepatitis, uh, particularly hepatitis B. This is aimed at people, particularly in developing economies such as Sub-Saharan Africa, in Nigeria in particular, and Senegal and many other parts of the world where hepatitis B is a significant health problem. Uh, there are simple questions that I would go through to help provide some education regarding the, a little bit of confusion uh, regarding this condition. Uh, hepatitis B, when you have the diagnosis, probably from a lab, either intentionally carried out or incidentally as part of your medical examination, can be quite alarming for some people. Uh, the question arises, what is it in the first instance? Uh, hepatitis uh, B, or the terminology hepatitis itself, uh, suggests inflammation of the liver. Now, the liver is uh, an organ located uh, within the abdomen, uh, just below the diaphragm on the right side. Uh, it serves as a gateway through which food enters into the bloodstream. Uh, it uh, helps to produce bile which helps in digestion uh, it produces proteins which are very helpful in clotting of blood uh, when uh, we bruise or when there's some cut somewhere or uh, if we tend to bleed accidentally uh, it has also additional benefits uh, quite quite a few of them the fact is uh, if the liver is inflamed it does mean that lots of these functions will not be subserved and therefore can rapidly lead to death. Uh, and so it does need to be uh, sorted as soon as possible. But it's not everyone who has hepatitis B that will die from it. Indeed, uh, there are two forms of hepatitis B infection. That's the acute one and the chronic one. So let's treat this as a kind of a problem-solving uh, educational basis. So the first, questions that, the first question that comes to mind is, is uh, hepatitis B curable? I think to answer this question, I would say it can be treated. Uh, most acute episodes of hepatitis B will actually be controlled by the patient's immune system. Most immunocompetent adults would actually recover from an acute episode of hepatitis B. It is the chronic form that can persist in the system uh, with a 2% chance of spontaneous clearance in those whose immune system is robust. However, there are those whose infections from the acute phase smolders on until it becomes chronic. And when it is chronic, it just means that it has persisted beyond six months and thereby can pre precipitate uh, complications, which range from chronic carrier state status to uh, cirrhosis when the liver becomes stiff and or uh, development of liver cancer. Now, it's just a few uh, proportions of sufferers that will proceed to these complications, so it's not something to worry about. However, if you're the person who has the complications, uh, that to you is 100%, and so uh, this is aimed at educating everyone. What is the best treatment for hepatitis B? Uh, most acute infections would not need any treatment uh, for those who persist, 
beyond six months, there are various medications, most of them orally, and very potent medications are available. Uh, some of them have shown, uh, the virus has shown resistance to them. However, the most recent ones, uh, particularly such as Tenofove, has been the most potent, and to date, no resistance has been documented uh, from the use of this medication. Uh, how long does it take to fully recover uh, from hepatitis B? Like I said, most of the acute infections in adults would actually uh, recover within uh, 10 weeks of infection. If it persists beyond that point uh, to six months, then it becomes a chronic infection. Now, in most uh, African context, particularly Western Africa, most infections occur uh, in a horizontal fashion. This means that most of the people uh, acquire infections from each other when they cut themselves while playing at the toddler stage of life. And because the immune system is not very potent at that stage, uh, the infection is not easily cleared and there's a high chance that most of those who have infection within that region of the world have actually uh, not manifested symptoms, in which case uh, they don't know that they were infected, and the only way they will get to know would be if they are tested to prove it. And these are the ones who are likely to have the chronic infection, uh, in which case the treatment at the moment is almost for a lifetime. And the reason is to keep the viral load low, in which case it reduces the chance of chronic complications that I mentioned earlier. The other question then would be, can hepatitis B just go away? Uh, yes, like I mentioned, in the people who actually have had the acute form, yes, it would clear. Uh, for those who uh, have the chronic infection, uh, if it is just the chronic career stage, uh, there is a 2% chance every year to clear the virus from the system. Are there particular foods that you should avoid when you have hepatitis B? Not particularly. There has been lots of miscommunication regarding this to the end that a lot of patients tend to avoid eating proteins just on this diagnosis alone. This is counterproductive and would actually uh, lead to you consuming or degrading your muscles to provide the essential proteins and amino acids needed by your body to subserve other functions that they are required for. So it is best to continue to eat your protein uh, which would support the rest of your metabolic functions within the body. Uh, but suffice to say at this point that you need a lot of lean meat, proteins, fish, uh, as well as um, vegetables and drink lots of water. The other question can be, uh, can a person get rid of hepatitis B? Again, this is more like repetition. However, uh, I would answer as simply as I can. It can happen if it is acute phase. With a good immune system, yes, it would recover. And you will clear it from the system. However, if it is the chronic stage, getting rid can be quite a challenge as the uh, nuclear material of this virus gets integrated within the liver cells, thereby reproducing itself. Can a person die from hepatitis B? Not very common, but it does occur. But it is in the acute phase, unless not well managed. If, for example, uh, a lot of drugs are given which have toxic potentials, uh, concoctions or traditional remedies, or the false idea of the use of multivitamins for cure, 
uh, this can actually be deleterious to the function of the liver and actually has led to the deaths of many innocent people who do not understand that they are actually taking more toxins into their system uh, thereby creating more problems for their livers. Can hepatitis B positive become negative? Again, I have mentioned that this is often proven uh, by the fact that the immune system will help to clear this occasionally. But this is not the rule. It is just an occasional occurrence. In 2% of those who do not have an active ongoing infection within their system, so there's very small chance that this would happen. Uh, what will happen if hepatitis B is left untreated? Okay, so I mentioned about the fact that this would um, remain in the system, clear, progress to the chronic ongoing destruction of liver cells, or progress to the liver cells becoming uh, cirrhotic, and or a liver cancer will develop. So those are the four scenarios in which uh, will happen uh, that would happen if hepatitis B is left untreated. What is the best vitamins for hepatitis B? There is no best vitamins. It is not for hepatitis B that vitamins are targeted if they are given if someone has hepatitis B. Probably vitamins could be used and they can support, they can serve as nutritional supplements. I'm aware that certain people have circulated vitamins around as cure for hepatitis B. In fact, they have actually advocated that taking these vitamins for about six months would cure the virus. Uh, this is wrong. There is no such thing as vitamins curing hepatitis B. Is hepatitis B virus a sexually transmitted disease? Yes, indeed. It's almost all the routes of transmission of HIV is similar to the route of transmission of hepatitis B. What you must know additionally is the fact that whereas the transmissibility of HIV is by a factor of one, that of hepatitis B is by far easier. In other words, up to 100. If, for example, a contaminated blood is left on the desk, several months afterwards, that blood contaminated with hepatitis B has a higher potential of infecting someone long after the blood has been left there compared to if it was HIV infected. So it is a very infectious uh, problem and which has to be treated with very significant, uh, with, with severe care. Can we prevent hepatitis B? By far, very well. There are vaccinations, potent vaccinations that can be given uh, which would prevent infection in children. However, uh, if once you have, you have got the virus, the best thing to do is to be certain that it is acute or chronic infection. Uh, and that means that you would retest six months after the initial test. And if it is persistent, then you can define chronicity at that stage. Uh, at, at which point it would be helpful to ask or seek the opinion of a specialist in hepatitis. Uh, they would then carry on investigations and determine your suitability for treatment. It is at that stage that you work along with your specialist in order to ensure that you minimize your chance of developing chronic complications arising from hepatitis B. I hope this helps. Please do let me know your thoughts uh, by subscribing or uh, 
uh, writing your comments as appropriate. Thank you.